Alright, hello guys. So, uh, I'm going to be reviewing Pocky Ninja, which is a free um, browser based MMO published by Endgames. So, uh, let's get right into the action here. Now, uh, plenty of servers to choose from, as you can see here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pick a random one. How about Typhoon? That sounds kind of neat. Now, uh, since this is a browser-based um, MMO, uh, you shouldn't expect the best graphics out of it. So, um, five different villages to choose from here, and uh, I really like lightning. So, uh, let's let's pick lightning here, and um, how about this girl? She looks pretty. So, uh, pick a random name here. How about this one? Okay, so uh, it kind of gives us an overview of everything that we have here. And um, you can't change your gender in this game. But uh, our weapon type is going to be fist. So uh, I guess we're going to be getting right into the action. Uh, uh, name already exists. Well then another random one illegal characters you gotta be kidding me <laughs> alright uh... x a random x in there how can the name contain illegal characters <laughs> oh boy that's a pain in the neck huh there we go. Alrighty, so uh versing Gara right off the bat, huh? Oh wow. And I get totally owned by him. You know what? I believe you verse Gara every time no matter what. Because uh, that's like the second time I've done that so far. So, anyway. Um, the most important features of this game, as you may have already noticed, is that uh, I, I didn't press anything in there. Um, that was all automated. So, every fight you have in this game um, will depend on your skills and uh, these skills are automatically used by the computer and uh, will also depend on your gear as well of course but uh, the skill system is uh, what makes this game kinda unique here um, all of these up here uh, kinda determine how often you're going to uh, use your techniques and uh, the effectiveness of your techniques now uh, someone who's starting off uh, with the same character as me could um, at level 5 have uh, a whole different skill, skill set than me at level 5 so that's another thing that makes it kind of unique. Now, I don't have any skills yet, but uh, if we do a few quests here, and uh, the quests are all automated as well. So, uh, just going to do a few here and level up and uh, get a skill. Alright, I got a puppet. That's a pretty neat skill, too. So, uh, open up our box here. Now uh, this tutorial uh, kind of goes on for quite a quite a long time, but uh, luckily I already have a character that's pretty high level, so uh, I'm gonna switch over to him. 
Alrighty, so I'm back with my level 45 character. Now, um, as you can see here, I have all of the skills available to me now. And, um, now, these, I still don't have the complete set yet. That's probably not even going to be finished to like level 90 or something like that. So, um, I believe around, uh, maybe the high 90s or something like that is the level cap at the moment. Uh, in fact, we can go to the rankings list here. Yeah, yeah here we are. Rankings list. And, uh, wow. We can see that, uh, no one is above level 100 yet, so I'm guessing that is the limit. Okay, so item shop is another important aspect of this game so you're going to be coming here quite often if uh, you're going to be synthesizing a lot of gear for your uh, or just synthesizing for pets and um, outfits all of that different stuff now uh, You could see uh, from the starting list there, there was only a handful of characters. But uh, in this game, you basically earn outfits. And uh, there's tons and tons of different outfits in here. In fact, uh, you can just click on these people here and go to View Info. And uh, you can see all the different characters. So this guy is Pain, it looks like. And... Um, Uh, Sasuke so lots of different characters in here and uh, there's also the arena going on ahead in here and uh, now the arena is pretty difficult uh, as you start leveling up higher um, it was really easy for me at the beginning but then I kind of started running into problems but if you if you knock out an entire row um, you get this card here and uh, I believe they give you some pretty nice rewards and uh, you can also duel other players in here and the other players are going to be uh, just computers not the actual players so uh, I believe also you can reload this list every time you click on it new new players appear and uh... i'm gonna go ahead and do a one and uh, all of these characters are pretty high level so let's see how well i do Now, uh, I do believe when I was making my character um, a few months back here, I was kind of aiming for speed. And alright, I'm uh, pretty impressed with my character here. This is a pretty good fight. Uh, I'd say we're about evenly matched. I think it's really going to come down to whoever can get the next stun here. And it looks like I already got the upper hand. And uh, this game does have a pretty nice uh, pet system in here as well. And wow. 
Holy crap, I got my butt whooped there. That's twice in a row I got my butt kicked by Gara. I'm not liking Gara too much. Nah, I kid though, he's cool. But, uh. Also, this has a disciple system as well, so if I would have uh, beat that guy, he probably would have ended up in here. And, uh, I could have him as my s disciple. And the music in here kind of gets annoying to me. But, uh, let's check out the pet canal here. So, uh, this is where you can uh, upgrade your pet, put them in here, and, uh, you have to go and get food for your pet and fill up all these slots. Uh, also, uh, how do I check that out? Well, your pet has a, has a special kind of food that he likes. And uh, if you give him that special food, he uh, levels up faster. So I don't quite remember how to look at that. Maybe check. All right, favorite food, grain. So if I were to give him grain, um, that would uh, level him up faster. Now, uh, I'm going to show you one other aspect of this game that's really neat, and then that's pretty much it for the review. Um, anything else, you know, would be for a uh, tutorial. So, uh, this is the instances. Now, you can uh, go into, like, a survival mode here, which is Lost No Chase, and see how many levels you can survive before um, being defeated I, and I think I made it to around 30 or something like that I don't remember though but um that's pretty neat I like games that have uh, kind of a survival aspect to it really test my skills to the limit and um, and here is where the uh, real instances are where uh, you go in with parties and um, kick butt <laughs> all the way up until you get to the boss so and uh, all those are level based as well now um, overall I would say you know this game has everything needed to kind of keep you hooked uh, I did get bored of it after a while though and I uh, went on to other games but you know what I, I might come back to this and uh level up a little bit more see what else there is or what else this game has to offer looks like at level 61 here you unlock something new I have no clue what that is <coughs> but uh this also has a bloodline as well which uh, seems to be a trend in uh most games these days most MMOs But uh, the pet system is uh, kind of nice to have also. I think a lot of these uh, game companies are realizing that, you know, uh, people are kind of attracted to having a pet system in the game. So that's nice to have. And um, that's pretty much all I can say. Uh, you do get a lot of free gifts in this game as well. Um, a lot of these Chinese game companies uh, tend to... Uh, engulf you in gifts <laughs> but uh that's it for this review so uh like fave and uh subscribe and leave any questions i might be able to answer them and uh i'll see you guys in my next video